going. Uh, I guess uh, I'll, I'm going to wait for some people to show up. So, here we go. Here we go. Got some people. Uh, hello, everyone. This is Hunter from AFI. Obviously, you know that because this is the account that you're watching this on. So, uh, how's everyone doing? Seem to be getting a lot of little hearts in the side here, so that's cool. Uh, so, I'm here to do a Q&A. And, uh, so I guess, let's start doing that. Let's do some, let's do some cues. Uh, let's see. Somebody, somebody asked me a question, and then I'll answer it. That's how a Q&A typically works. All right, let's see here. Okay. Let's see here. So, okay, let me get this out of the way. I'm probably going to have to say this multiple times, but, um, so, uh, I've been instructed to, uh, to say that in terms of new music and, and uh, touring and all that stuff, that um, we're all just going to have to wait for news about that um, until a little bit later. Not later in this in this Q and A, but just later in life. And, um, and so just stay tuned. Um, I'm as curious as you probably are because um, I would love to to get out on the road, and I would love to have some new music out there. So, uh, so just to address that. Uh, now, let's let's look at some of these questions here. Okay, so we've got the. Uh, let's see, are you ever going to do more YouTube videos? Well, you know, I. Um, I haven't thought about it. I kind of just got out of doing videos. Um, it's kind of out of that mode for a while. Um, but being in lockdown, it's kind of, um, there's a little more of appeal to it, I guess. So maybe, maybe, maybe this will, maybe doing this type of a thing will sort of bust me out of that, um, of that non video rut, if you will. Um, let's see. Let me look at another one of these officially submitted questions. Uh, God, there's a lot of them. Okay. Uh, let's see. What has been the highlight of your career with AFI so far? Oh, gosh. That's a good question. The highlight. Um, I don't know. There's so many things. Uh, I think just being able to be in my 40s and look back and go, wait a second. I'm a professional musician. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> uh I feel like prior to uh, prior to that moment of, of kind of realizing that this is this is what I do for a living. Um, you know, just a moment ago, I was working at a movie theater, and um, and so time flies. So I guess that's it. Having a having a career that is so creatively fulfilling and makes that time fly by. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's look at another one of these guys here. What was your favorite AFI music video to make? Okay, so I gotta be honest, making videos sucks. <laughs> uh, let me let me go through all the videos in my mind. Let's talk about them. This is what you guys are here for, right? Okay, so the first video that I did uh, with AFI was for uh, third season, and that was fine. Actually, that was fine. It was like uh, I got to hang out in a in a cul-de-sac in Thousand Oaks for a day. And it was like the first video that I'd ever done. Like the first professional music video that I'd ever done. Um, shout out to Darren Doan. Uh, and that was, yeah, I can't think of anything bad about that one. I think it's because we didn't do a, um, a performance aspect. So uh, what else? The Total Immortal one was, was kind of cool. That was fun. Um, that was just us walking around a graveyard. I mean, it was like a low fi low-budget kind of a thing. Um, 
so that was cool. Um, I will say though, like the the ones the the ones that are like actually really cool. The cool parts of them aren't fun to do, like getting painted from head to toe in black grease paint, including like on my clothes. Like there was Vaseline on my clothes. This is for uh, Girls Not Gray. Uh, like Vaseline on my clothing. I was wearing a. Uh, I had to wear a wig that started right here. So it was a little bit of my hair and there was like shoe polish in my hair. It was so fucking gross to get all that, all that paint cleaned off. Um, then the regular performance part of it, which was like the next day was fine. Um, mostly though with, with doing the videos, it's the, there's some performance aspect and, um, you don't know what shot the, the director is going to use and so every moment of of air of your performance has to be like a hundred percent because you don't want them to end up using like a clip where you're kind of just like phoning it in just because you need to rest um and so and typically you're not playing on like a, a like a, a stage or like a surface that's forgiving so it's like you're on concrete and you're wearing like boots and you're having to do all these jumps and kicks, and you're just sweaty. You're not even really playing, and because you're not really playing, your hand isn't. Um, your hand's just like slamming against the strings, or my hand is slamming against the strings. So I'm like bleeding and sweating, and my legs hurt, and just. Um, and you're doing it f for eight hours, not like the one hour you'd be playing a show for. So. Um, and then at the end, and then you think you're done, you got away, fine, and then they were like, oh, wait, hold on, we got to have you lie down in gold paint. <laughs> this, trust me, this is going to be, this is going to look great, we're going to have you, or, um, yeah, so, oh, always something like that. Um, the, uh, the, the Love Like Winter video, also breathing in this, like, fake snow, chemical snow, awful, but, I mean, these are cool videos, that's the thing. None of these are, are, are stupid videos. Like you, you know, the, the whole, um, the whole point of it is to do something that's like, uh, beyond, um, the, uh, what is it? The, um, the Aurelia video was actually really cool. Cause that was really, that took like five minutes to do. So <laughs> I just had to sit there. All I have to do is sit here and not do anything. Anyway. Uh, so I will say though, uh, silver and cold video, we got to go to Prague. We didn't do anything in Prague other than shoot the video, but the idea that we came up with a, a video concept and then as a result of that, got to go to Prague was pretty cool. So, um, and once again, it's like the, the videos look cool. So, uh, yeah, so there, I, that's a long winded answer for that, but got some more people showing up, more people in the house. So let's, um, let me look at some of this. Stuff. Okay, hold on. Uh, what's behind you? Well, I have a painting that I painted uh, over here, and over here's some books. And there's a, I guess it's an elephant. I like to think it's a wooden mammoth, but uh, let's see. How about that Snowcats video? Snowcats video was, um, <laughs> That one was wild because we had just shot the White Offerings video the day before uh, and in in one location and then in a completely different location went to do the Snowcats video and and it was such a relief to not have to do um, to not have to be like doing that 100% performance on a stage or not like a sound stage. Um, Snowcats was like walking on a treadmill. <laughs> And playing, so it was kind of that was kind of fun, and just weird. Um, okay, let's see what else. Let me let me go through some of these comments and see if there's any questions here. Um, well, okay, so oh man, so many things. You guys are all full of comments, aren't you? Um, let's see. What's your favorite song to play live? That's a pretty common question. Um, for a while, I've been saying End Transmission because it's, um, it's like, first off, I, I really like that song. Second off, I get to, um, I get to do a combination of, like, playing and singing, which I like, 
and um, and then there's uh, there's something about the the um, the rhythm of the of the playing and singing that I really like. I don't know. There's just something about it that I really like. So uh, I've been I've been answering that question with that song for so long. I'm just gonna say that end transmission. It's my favorite song to play live. Even though maybe from time to time it's not necessarily the favorite favorite song. Sometimes we'll add a song into a set list that we haven't played in ten years, or maybe we've never played it. And for that set, that's my favorite song because it's like fresh. I don't have to, um, you know, it's not. It's uh, I'm f- completely engaged in playing it because it's um, you know it's not. There's no muscle memory involved. Other than just the general muscle memory of of um, of being a bass player and playing songs, so uh, okay, let's see. Dude, there's so many questions here. Okay, uh, what else we got here? Uh, okay, here we go. What happened with post war science? Would you ever do a t-shirt slash merch line of your illustrations again? Um, post war science, and we just decided to end it. Um, it kind of ran its course, and and um, Ted and I just, I don't know, just wanted to, like, end it while we were kind of in a good place. And uh, I would love to do a new, a, a line of, like, designs for shirts, but um, maybe not the same way. I think, I think it, it, it was nice to have a break from designing things for a while, and and actually, like the time that I used to spend designing, designing um, shirts and things for post war science, I now spend doing my weekly web comic. So, Cat with Matches, shout out to Cat with Matches. <laughs> so you can check that out. That's self promotion. Uh, okay, let's see what else. What what memory do you have of Chicago? Oh man, so many. Uh, Chicago. It's uh, okay. I can remember like my first time in Chicago was on my birthday in 1997, and uh, I, I turned 21. <laughs> so you did the math, and it was raining. And I remember going there, um, not on that trip, on a different trip there to Chicago. I remember going there, um, and and I think. Uh, Joe from Rise Against and and uh, and others took us to um, I think maybe Dan and I don't remember who else but uh, took us to like a like a you know traditional Italian restaurant we were gonna get some pizza we were gonna get like deep dish pizza and I remember <laughs> I was at the time I was I wasn't vegan yet I was just vegetarian and I remember getting um, a a deep dish pizza that was just basically like a gigantic bowl of cheese. It was like the most insane thing ever. Um, yeah, I remember. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, I love Chicago, and uh, I can't wait to go back there. Let's let's hope that's a thing sooner than later. Um. Uh, okay. Let's see what else we got here. What else you guys want to know? Uh, for those of you who are uh, tuning in, have tuned in later, um, news in terms of new music and and touring uh, will be coming in the future. Uh, so wait for those for that news. Just stay tuned, and and uh, and we will let you know. Uh, okay, let's see. Do you still feel like a Bay Area band or LA band now? That's a good question. Because I've been in L.A. now, I've lived in L.A. for 15 years, and um, longer than I ever lived in the Bay Area for. Uh, but been the band started in the Bay Area? I don't know. It's a good question. I mean, I feel like when we play older songs, or when I think about certain albums, I I picture us being in the Bay Area, obviously rehearsing there. And even just this, uh, I have, you know, I remember walking down the street, just before, um, before Black Sales came out, and just thinking about, like, you know, like we're a we're like an East Bay band. It's a thing. <laughs> um, 
But now, I don't know. I just think of us as just like a band. I don't, I mean, I guess because we live in different cities, um, we're not, we're just like a California band now. So, <laughs> letting you guys know, California band. Uh, let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Questions. Any solo music soon? You know, I've been I've been working on producing a lot over the past couple of years, and so most of my sort of musical creative energy has been sort of focused into that. Um, having said that, um, with all this time that everyone seems to have now, I thought that this would be a nice opportunity to work on some solo stuff. I haven't done anything yet, but. Uh, the, the, the seed, the seed of the idea has been planted, so. Uh, oh, here's, okay. Are you rock climbing in your house during the shutdown? You know, uh, I've seen some really cool videos of people climbing around their houses, uh, and I've thought about it. Um, I don't really have, there's like a staircase that I could sort of climb, <laughs> but not really. Um, I actually injured my foot in January and needed a couple months for it to recover before climbing again. And as soon as it got to where it was good again is when everything shut down. So I haven't really had a chance to, to do anything yet, but, uh, I've been trying to, you know, doing pull-ups to try to keep in shape for that. <laughs> uh, I've been playing a lot of bass. So my, you know, my calluses are good, but, uh, I guess I would need to do something that just completely shreds my hands up to really get that rock climbing effect. So maybe if I, um, maybe I need to do pull-ups, but cover the bar with sandpaper. That might be actually, (laughs) it's not that bad of an idea. Uh, considering it. Okay. Let's see. What else? Least favorite song. Okay. (laughs) Least favorite AFI song. The the long running joke is that my least favorite song is Weathered Tome, <laughs> uh, which isn't it's not I don't dislike that song, but that's the joke. So, um, so if anyone asks, Tome. Uh, okay, let's see what else we got here. You guys are asking so many questions so quickly. Okay, long scale or short scale bass? Okay, that's a good question. Uh, long, I, long scale is, uh, I've only played short scale on a couple different things. Let me think of what they are. Tegan and Sarah record that I played on the con, uh, some of the songs I did on a short scale bass. Uh, if, if, if there were a new AFI record somewhere in the future, maybe one of those songs I played on a short scale, uh, Let's see what else I played. Oh, the whole Las Gatas Beach Club record I played on a short scale bass, but generally long scale. Uh, and that's mostly because I I uh, I s- squeeze the bass uh, the the strings so hard that often on a short scale because of the you know it's a smaller scale I'll end up pulling the strings sharp. So um, speaking of short scale, got a short scale right here. Uh, okay, let's see. What else? What else we got? Okay. Man, okay. It's like I start reading it and then a bunch of other questions come in. Okay. Okay, this is a good general question that I feel like everyone is answering around this time. What are you doing while in quarantine? Besides posted videos, any projects you're working on? Okay, so... I have my weekly, weekly webcomic that I do, Cat with Matches. Um, I, I did a, a jigsaw puzzle. That's cool, right? <laughs> Everyone's doing that. Um, I haven't baked anything because, I don't know, I'd have to buy flour and stuff and whatever. Um, let's see. I mean, I've, I've microwaved some stuff. I've cooked a bunch of... Uh, frozen vegan pizzas. So that's, that's an accomplishment. Um, I've been working on, um, a lot of producing, a lot of music production, um, doing stuff, 
with Blood Boy, doing stuff with Gear Boy, doing stuff with The Shinings, doing stuff with Candace Blue, doing stuff with uh, Indiana Bradley, kind of just getting started on that. That hasn't really taken shape yet, but, um, but, you know, a lot of different music stuff that is in the pipeline. Who knows when that'll actually happen. Uh, let's see. What else? Favorite instrument other to play other than bass? Uh, okay, so my favorite instrument to play is drums. And um, I haven't played that much in the last five years, um, but it is the most fun. Um, I feel like it's more fun when I'm in, uh, in drummer shape, which I'm not, but um, just hitting things is fun. So... I encourage any of you who have the uh, the resources to play the drums, just to do it. It doesn't matter how you sound. You know, you can start a band if you're good. Uh, let's see. Okay. Will you ever record yourself playing Affliction? Uh, I have a long list. I actually made a list downstairs. I actually made a spreadsheet. Anytime I ask you guys, like, hey, what song do you want to hear next? I had that to a spreadsheet. And um, there are a lot of songs on this list, and um, some of them I just don't remember how to play. And so I'm like, well, okay, if, do I want to like learn how to play one of my own songs, and then like do a video or just play one that I already know? So I um, I will get to all the songs, not all of them. I'll get to a lot of them eventually, but uh, also don't want to just inundate you with all these songs. So spreading them out, pacing it. Uh, okay, let's see. All right, what else have we got? You guys ever been to San Jose? Yep. Uh, oh my God, these are, I can't keep up with these questions. Let me go to the official, officially submitted question section here. Hold on. Uh, okay. Favorite breed of dog? I don't know. I don't think I have a favorite breed of dog. Is that a thing? Like people have like, I only like golden retrievers, or uh, <laughs> um, like it's got to be a beagle, or I'm not involved. Um, so I don't know. Uh, let's see. What are you watching? during quarantine? That's a good question. What am I not watching? I've watched every show that there is. You know, you name it, I've watched it. Or I'm or I'm in the middle of it somewhere. I've um, been watching Ozark recently. Uh, kind of somewhere in the, in the beginning of season three on that. Also, I've been watching Angie Tribeca. Just randomly decided to start that show. Um, so, but yeah, I mean, it's, I've... I've watched everything, so, um, also, Westworld, I'm, I'm, like, watching that week to week, which is kind of frustrating, because I'm usually, I'm, like, more of a binge guy, like, I just want to spend, like, three hours and just watch a, a, a chunk, like, a block, and then, and when I say three hours, I mean ten hours, right? I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see, what else? P bass or J bass? This is a bass player question. Um, both, both. Um, I I think I don't know that the that I've done a record in the last twenty years that hasn't had both. Um, I mean that's not true. There's a couple that I haven't, but um, the last record that I recorded only on jazz bass was the Art of Drowning, and that even even that I used like a, a couple different jazz basses, including like a jazz deluxe the only time i've ever used active pickups on a recording was sacrifice theory uh oh my battery is dying i guess this this little q a will end when my battery dies i'm plugged in too so i don't even know i guess that's just i guess you guys are sucking up more juice than the outlet can provide so, okay, let's see. Uh, what else we got here? Favorite vegan donuts? 
Uh, I gotta say, Donut Friend, um, they, they're, they're like a good, um, solid vegan donut provider for me here in Los Angeles. If you're in, um, if you're in other places, other locations, it's probably like a good vegan donut place for you, but, um, for LA, that's, that's my spot. Uh, do you miss playing punk rock? I mean, okay, you mean, do I miss playing like super fast stuff because we play fast stuff we do include punk rock punk rock songs in our set we're not writing and recording these like crazy fast albums but i'm, I'm like in my 40s so that might be, that might be kind of weird um but i do fucking love it so um you know who knows? Who knows what the future holds? Uh, let's see. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Okay. Okay. I keep getting these notifications on my phone that my battery is trying to die. Uh, what was the jigsaw puzzle of? It was a bookshelf with a bunch of books on it. I tried to pick something that was as hard as I could find, like just some, other than just like a puzzle that's just completely blank. Um, this was just like, just an, a bookshelf full of like, just, um, you know, books with nothing on the spine, just colored books, old books. It's pretty tricky. Uh, okay. Let's see. Favorite vegan food. I don't know. I mean like cookies. I love cookies, but you can't. Listen, if there's one thing I've learned during this quarantine is you cannot live on cookies alone. <laughs> you need to eat something else in there. So, um, How long did it take you to hike Half Dome? That's a good question. It was like eight hours or something like that. Each way. Now, I guess coming down was maybe faster, but it was like eight hours going up. I don't know. I don't remember. It was long. It was really long. Uh how do you get your coffee when everything is closed? Well, let's see. Uh, I've had to make, I hate this too. I've had to make coffee every day. <laughs> uh, I've been doing French press, which is not my favorite. I'm an espresso guy. So, um, but I, I used to have an espresso machine, but when it broke, I just got rid of it. And, and, uh, I've been doing, I've been going out to get, one of my favorite things, one of, one of my favorite experiences is to go to a coffee shop and be in that environment. I love that environment. The sounds, the smell, the coffee, people, the culture. And so, um, so it pains me to, to be at home and to make a French press. And you're like, eh, this isn't what I wanted. <laughs> uh, but you know, you do what you can, right? Okay, uh, do you play the kalimba? Uh, you know what? My parents have one, and I did play that when I was a kid. Haven't in a while, but uh, it's also like uh, if you play for more than like five minutes, it's a it's a uh, it's a great way to get give yourself blisters. Uh, let's see. Okay. God, there's so many things. Okay. So many questions. Okay. Uh, have you played an AFI song on Rock Band? Uh, no. So I did play. Um, I one time I went into the Apple Store and and on an iPad maybe they had some version of like you know Guitar Hero or Rock Band or one of those things and I decided it was like I could do the bass version of. I want to say it was Miss Murder. And so I thought, I got this. I got this. Let me do this. And so I uh, gave it a shot, and I <laughs> and I basically failed. I failed, and I realized the reason was because I was playing it with musician timing, where you're sort of like anticipating the notes, and you know, and you're kind of flowing with it and going. And the game is more about hand-eye coordination, so, um, which isn't what, like, actual playing is. It's about feel. And so, um, yeah, I 
So, but I mean, like, is that, do people still play those games? That's not a thing anymore, right? No? Okay. What can, hey, why don't you guys tell me what kind of games you guys play now? Like, what, what is everyone playing when you play games? You know, are you playing on your phone or you're playing on like a console, some sort of like platform, some sort of thing? Tell me about it. Tell me about it. And someday I'll scroll through all these and get that information because I'm like so behind on these. Like you guys are commenting and I'm like way, I'm like 30 pages up. So, uh, let's see. Actually, let me, okay. Sorry, I'm going to have to scroll down all this. Um, how often are you recognized in public? Uh, well, when I used to go in public, ne almost never. <laughs> That's not true. Um, uh, I, I will, here and, here, and, here and there, I will get, um, people will, will let me know that, um, that they recognize me from from my band and that they like our music and I think that's cool. I think that's a uh, that's nice. Uh, okay, let's see here. Okay, we're getting some here some games here. Okay, this is good. I want to know. I want to know what. So I just got a like a PS4. And I don't really play games yet, uh, so. But I want to know. I want to know what there is. What, what kind of you know stuff is out there? Okay. Uh, let's see here. Okay, I finally made it to the bottom. Okay, The Walking Dead. That's a show that I that I took this time, this quarantine time, to catch up on because I was like a couple seasons behind, and. Finally caught up to where we are currently, and now it's a big cliffhanger. We got to we have to wait until who knows when to to see what happens next, right? Am I right? Is that the deal? Someone tell me. <laughs> I have to know. <laughs> uh. Okay. Okay. Oh, here's one. Tell us about when the tour bus caught fire. Okay. So. This was uh, this is last year, and we was this last year. Oh my god. Um, we were on tour with Smashing Pumpkins, and uh, we were about to cross into Canada. We just played a show, crossing the border. It's middle of the night, and we get off the, off the bus to to do the, uh, the immigration. And it goes smoothly. Usually it takes a while, and you have to wait there, and you're like super tired because you like slept a couple hours and you had to wake up and then whatever but no it's fine it goes super smooth get back on the bus and uh finally just get back into my bunk i probably you know probably took my clothes off in my bunk and then i hear the bus driver get on the bus and yelling like it's on fire everyone everyone off the bus the bus is on fire i'm like what really so everybody's like Panicking, freaking out, scrambling, grabbing things to run off the bus. I'm like, oh shit! Like, I think I gotta like, grab my things and like, or grab like one of my things, run off the bus. And uh, so we're standing there watching, turn around and look in the bus. Like, it is on fire. It's legitimately on fire. There's like flames shooting out of the top and smoke and everything. And um, and then like it stops. But we can't re-enter the bus because the fire department has to come legally. And so then the fire department comes. The bus isn't on fire anymore, but they've got their all, the, all their gear on and their, you know, the masks and all their jackets and coats and hoses and stuff. And they're like all rallying and and they put out whatever fire was actually maybe still, you know, smoldering in the background. And um, it was just like the rear end, like the engine part of the bus. Um, I guess technically if the bus had really gone up and like really burnt up, I would have been one of the first people to burn up. So I'm glad I got off the bus, but there was a moment between when everyone ran off the bus and when, you know, the, the, the firefighters 
showed up that I realized I forgot this thing of <laughs> vegan donuts on the bus. Should I go back in there and get it? If I just like hold my breath, maybe like so I won't inhale the smoke, is it worth it? Is it worth it? Um, the answer is no, it's never worth it. It's never worth it to never re-enter a, a burning building. <laughs> unless there's unless you have to save some lives or something. Or you're a firefighter. That makes sense, right? So everyone was okay, uh, except for the bus. All of, all of everyone's stuff was okay. Um, I even had a pillow that, uh, that I would, you know, my special pillow that I had assumed would be just a loss because of the smoke that maybe it had absorbed. Didn't even absorb any smoke. So it was all good. Uh, and the bus company gave us a new bus, and obviously they were very apologetic because, you know, nobody had planned that, right? Anyway, so that's that story. Uh, there's more to it, but I don't know. It's not interesting. Okay, uh, let's see. What else we got here? Special pillow. Yes, it's a special pillow. Okay, listen. I have to have a special pillow to sleep in because, you know, I'm a sensitive dude. And I don't want to have, have neck pain, so I have a pillow that's like, um, I mean, it's like a pillow that I buy at a, at a, at like a retail store where you might be able to buy bed stuff or bath stuff or beyond that. I won't say who it is. Um, but it's, uh, it's just like an extra soft pillow. That's it. And it's, it's, um, it's like synthetic down because the animals vegan uh okay let's see what else we got here how long have i been doing this long enough okay you guys still want to hear more okay uh let's get to some really important questions let's look in this pool of of officially submitted questions far too many to ever answer ever uh oh my god there's like hundreds of them <laughs> Scrolling through these. Okay. Uh, uh, I don't know. I like this. Okay. What goes into... Okay, here's a good question. What goes into making a set list? Well, uh, you'll have to ask Jade. Jade comes up with a, like the preliminary framework for that and then uh, sends it around to everybody and we go like, yeah, that's dope. Or no way, I'm not playing that song. Or, hey, what if we switch these two or something? So, um, but he does all the heavy lifting, so you'll have to ask him. Uh, let's see, what else? Okay, hold on, here we go. What did you have for dinner? I haven't had dinner yet. It's too early. I don't eat dinner until like 10. <laughs> uh, okay, what else? Sing the Star of Repress would be great, right? Sorry, I'm just reading these comments. Okay. How many unreleased songs are there? I don't know. That's a good question. Um, I don't think there's that many. I mean, uh, if any. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Any more bass playthroughs? Yes. More, more coming. I just have to work on that. Work on some more. Uh, okay. What else? Let's see. How's your mom doing? She's doing well. Thank you for asking. Uh, she is prepared to just, uh, to just ride out this quarantine as long as possible. She's taking as many, uh, precautions as she can to be safe. Um, and good for her, you know? Uh, and that goes for my dad as well. Let's see. Uh, favorite comedian, Steve Martin. Dun, 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 dun. Favorite Red Rocks memory. That would be every time playing Red Rocks because that venue is the most memorable venue. It's just epic. If you haven't been to see a show there, at some point in the future you should. Um, but in the meantime, just uh, just Google it and see if you can find some, you know, some whatever your favorite band is playing there. 
I don't know who that might be. <laughs> um, but uh, just look at photos. It's it's breathtaking. Uh, let's see. What else do we got here? Do you miss the DF board? Yeah, I kind of do. I kind of do. Maybe that maybe that could be a thing we bring that back. Uh, will you ever do a Black Sails in the Sunset Tour? Well, actually, actually, we did. We did that in 1999. And, uh, and it was epic. And let me tell you, the set list was, was all songs from 99 and earlier. Crazy, right? <laughs> uh, let's see. What else we got? What else here? Uh, let's get some questions going. <laughs> he says, as there's a hundred thousand questions in here. Uh, okay. Okay, here's another here's another rock climbing question. What grades do you boulder? Um, I was back when I was still bouldering. Although I would have to say that I I'm out of bouldering shape. But um, I was doing, um, I was doing like a lot of V5s, a couple of V6s. Um, I would say like a three to six range was kind of the was kind of my jam. Um, certain style, uh, certain styles were like a little more what I was into. I liked one. I like going upside down and stuff. That's fun. Um, so that's like rock climbing stuff. That's bouldering stuff for all of, all of you who aren't into that stuff. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see what else we got. Um, you know, okay, hold on. Tyler Duncan says lame answer to the black sales question, but it's true. That's true. Like we're not gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna go back in time and. And do we're not one of those bands, so I'm sorry if that disappoints you, but uh, we're just moving forward, moving forward. Uh, let's see what. Uh, oh God. Okay. What else we got here? Skincare routine. <laughs> I need one. Uh, skincare routine is I take a shower and, uh, wash my face. Sometimes I just use soap and I put lotion on it afterwards. That's it. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. It's like I start reading these questions and then a new one shoots in. Uh, okay. This is okay. Let me go back to the official questions. It's too much to. Let's see here. Are these in any sort of order? I can't tell. Okay. If you also play drums, does Adam also play bass? Can y'all swap for a song? Uh, you know, I don't... I mean, I guess we could. Once again, you'd have to ask Adam if he, if he feels like he's up to that challenge. Um, I'm sure he could... He could pound out some sweet bass lines. Um, so, you know, I don't think it would sound as good as the other way around. Um, I mean, I know it wouldn't. <laughs> so um, I think we're doing you guys um, doing you guys a, a service of, of sticking to, you know, bass and drums. Uh, okay, let's see. What else is going on here? Ah, 
sorry, there's too many questions. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Okay, here's okay. Well, here's a question. It was about reading books, and I've I'm like really good at starting books and then not finishing them. Um, that's kind of like my thing. Uh, so I don't I don't actually know how any stories end, but I will say this book right here. Uh, this book is awesome. Everyone should read this book. Someday I'm going to finish it. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. What other questions you guys got? What do you got for me? What are we doing on time? Still going. Still going. Okay. get a birthday shout out yes anyone whose birthday it is today gets a birthday shout out happy birthday if it's your birthday tomorrow happy birthday tomorrow was it your birthday yesterday hey happy birthday yesterday sorry i missed it maybe it was last week hey happy birthday last week still kind of your birth month um maybe your birthday is next month like mine is happy birthday next month happy birthday in advance although some people consider that bad luck um, maybe your birthday was February 18th. <sighs> totally miss it. Sorry, but happy birthday anyway. And if your birthday is July 2nd, then, hey, your birthday is coming up in a couple months. What are you going to do? Are you, are you excited? How's that? Is that good? <laughs> Got all your birthday shout outs for you there. Um, let's see. Once again, if you tuned in late and whatever, um, or if you just need a reminder, uh, I don't have any news regarding new music or touring because I personally don't have anything to tell you. Um, I would love to know what's up with those things. Um, so stay tuned. And whenever I find out, you'll find out. Uh, let's see. What else? See, I knew somebody had it February 18th as their birthday. That's just how it works. You throw out a random date and, a, and somebody's going to have that as their birthday. Um, let's see. What is this about tofu scramble? Just eggs? No eggs. No eggs. Come on, guys. <laughs> You're still eating eggs? It's 2020. Are you kidding me? Tofu scramble. <laughs> What else we got here? Uh, dun, 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 dun. What else we got? Uh, let's see. Oh, right, this is an easy one. Favorite The Force record. That would be complete discography because it's got everything. Uh, let's see. What is your go-to album for when you're feeling down? I don't, that's a good question. Uh, it used to be, historically, it was, um, it was The Cure Disintegration. Um, but, you know, you can only use that so many times before it, it's, um, it doesn't, I don't know, it's, it's like, it, it, uh, doesn't quite do what it what you want it to do. You got to pace yourself. So, uh, but there's a million great albums out there. A million great albums by The Cure. Uh, let's see. If I bass part, you are most proud of. Well, I don't know. That's a good question. Um, I'm really uh, I'm really happy with with almost everything I've done. <laughs> so. Um, I think it's just whenever I'm working on a bass line, I try to come up with something that serves the song as as um, as best it can. Um, so anything that 
accomplishes that I'm, I'm proud of. Um, but, um, you know, uh, I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes I'll write a part and then I will not think about it for a long time. And then I'll go back and listen to it. Like all the stuff that I did with Tegan and Sarah, um, because I'm not touring with that material. Um, you know, I've, I forget about it for a while, and then anytime I hear it, I'm like, oh, yeah, that was a cool bass line. Did I do that? Oh. <laughs> and the answer is no. Matt Sharp did it, because it wasn't one of Tegan's songs. It was one of Sarah's songs. Um, okay, what else do we got here? What else do we got here? Should do cameo sh- birthday shout-outs for $20 a pop? I should, right? I mean, with all the ones that I just gave away for free... That's bad for business. Um, okay, let's see. What else? So, you guys like AFI? <laughs> do the do the hard thing if you guys like AFI. That's right. That's like an easy win. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, so a correction on the just egg. You know what? I I know what you're talking about. The Just Egg, the vegan Just Egg, it is a vegan product. I have tried it. <laughs> it's not for me. Maybe in maybe in like um, in the context of a um, like a baking thing or or something or something where it's mixed up and on its own. I I tried it and was like, oh, this is like just slimy and weird. It's, I don't know. Maybe that's what people like about eggs. I don't know. Is the reason that people like eggs because they're slimy and weird? Answer that for yourself. Uh, let's see. What else we got here? What about Fender has made you stick with them for so long? First off, it's a great company, and I love the people that work there. Um, shout out to Michael. Um, but it's to me, that's what bass sounds like. A Fender bass is bass. So, simple as that. Uh, was it freaky playing just like heaven? You know, this is that was the last time I, I was actually really nervous on stage. Not for the show where we played just like heaven for the um, the MTV's Cure thing, but for the sound check when we're playing it in an empty room. Um, but we're playing a Cure song for the Cure, who's sitting just off the stage, watching us play their song. Super nervous. Um, and haven't been nervous since then, because, uh, let's see. What else we got here? How much time we got? We're running out of time here. Do you still talk to people you know from high school? I do. I do, actually. Um, I do. Not all of them, of course, but uh, but many of them I do still talk to. Um, and that's cool. Uh, let's see. Well, will you write another book like Success? I actually did. I, I wrote another book. Uh, that The next very next year I wrote another book, and... Um, and then I shopped it around. I shopped both of the books around and couldn't find a publisher that had any interest in them. So it's just been sitting on my computer. And I thought, you know what? I just gotta, I'll just i just release it on my own. Um, do a self-published thing. And I just haven't gotten around to it. <laughs> so uh, that's on me. Uh, so follow-up to success coming soon because I've got time, right? So get excited about that. There's a lot of great stuff in the pipeline um, because we've got nothing but time. Uh, what else? Nice to see another huge Prince fan. I am a huge Prince fan. Uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> uh, this is great content, right? I've noticed the numbers are waning, so that's fine. If you guys have to leave... You got other things to do. I understand. There's like a Alice in Chains concert happening right now. There's like a Rhett Miller concert. 
Maybe you're getting ready for the whatever the 7 p.m. concerts are. I get it. Everyone's competing for your attention right now in this time. It's like the old days of TV with like uh, with like ratings and <laughs> remember how that used to be. Yeah. So uh, I understand that your time is very important to you, and I'm really um, I'm really happy that you decided to spend it here with me. Uh, because, uh, you know, I love you guys, all, all 20,000, that's what it says right there, the, the number is like 20,000, this is like an, an unprecedented amount of, of live viewers, in case you can't see the number, it's just like incredible, <laughs> uh, no, it's, every one of you is my favorite person for tuning in to this watching me ramble for like an hour almost an hour um so uh i would i'll do one of these again definitely um maybe take a couple more questions and then i think i think my time is up so uh let's see would afi ever play with an orchestra that would be cool right i could see that happening right you know, right? Uh huh. Orchestras, pay attention. Give us a call. Um, okay, let's see what else. Da -da -da -da, da -da -da. Do you provide? Ah. Do you pride yourself in being an awesome live performer? Uh, the live thing is uh, is one of my favorite things to do because I just get to just just pour it all out on stage um just give it my all blood sweat tears broken bones all that and do i think that i'm good at it i think i'm good at what i do maybe not necessarily like the best like all-around live performer i do a very specific thing um but uh but i guess i take pride in that i don't know isn't pride a, one of the seven deadly sins <laughs> uh all right, what what do we got? A minute left. Okay, what's that thing on the top of the bookshelf? It's a it's a wooden elephant thing. Uh, let's see, more Los Gatos Beach Club, maybe. Uh, maybe not not a not a top priority, but maybe soon. Uh, okay. I think that this is going to be it for me because I don't want to get cut off. So, um, thank you everyone for tuning in. Um, uh, we will do this again in the future with other band members. Um, and, uh, stay tuned and, and, uh, thanks for, for, thank you for being a friend. <laughs>